What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. Next episode in the clean and press of this journey into mystery annual number one. First appearance of Zeus and of Hercules. We've dry cleaned the book. It presents pretty well. Um, we have this little issue here with the paper coming off the spine. We're going to correct later. But what I've decided is... Before I go on, I'm going to press this with a mild bleaching agent that is 3% hydrogen peroxide. And the reason I'm going to do that is, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but this color in here is actually quite yellow. If you compare it with a sheet of white paper, you can see how different, you know, brilliant white is against that. Even um, just 90% brilliant is very white compared to that. It's lighter up here, but especially in here, in here, it's quite yellow. It's especially yellow on this edge here, and you can see, if you just look at the difference between the paper quality here and here, and there and there, that'll probably give you a good... The difference between here and here is not dramatic. The difference between here and here is actually, right? And <clears throat> this paper is actually quite discolored on the interior, worse than the front both front and back. Now the back, this I ordinarily would probably not bleach. While it's not brilliant white, it's consistent and it's pretty white. But if we look at the interior of the back, we see that it has some yellowing as well. Right? So, like, for example, the best example being, you know, in this area, that to that. Whereas when I put it here, not a dramatic difference, but it put them right there, fairly dramatic difference, right? So the paper's quite yellow there. Um, paper quality, except for this upper and lower edges, is quite good. So I think we'll get a good result. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a heat overlay press where we have an overlay that is wet with 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I've showed you that before, but I will set the stack up and show you what that looks like, and then we'll put it in the press. All right, y'all, I have prepped the book. So what do I have? I have an aluminum plate. This is the one that will go on the bottom of my press. I'll pick this whole sandwich up by that aluminum plate and transfer it into my press. From the bottom up, I have a magazine backer board, a 100-pound cardstock sheet, and then just a normal sheet of copy paper. Now, because this is not a saddle stitch book, this is a glued book with staples that go through this direction. We have to do the buffer for the book a little bit differently. The way that I like to do these for these old annuals is I only use copy paper. I put one sheet between the cover and the back of the book. And then throughout the book, every six pages, five to six, depending on the book, I will put a sheet of copy paper. And what I've just done is I've just pushed it in gently, as tight up against this where the staple line is as I can. And then the last sheet goes between the cover and the book. This will buffer the staples and the fact that we've built up bulk in the middle of the book means, but it only, these sheets only go that far. They just go up to the staple line, means the part of the book that's um, to the right of the staples here is thicker than the part with the staples. And what that will do is it will buffer the front and back cover so that they don't get big indentations from the staples. Okay, so that's the proper way to, or that is a correct way to buffer one of these square bound books. We will also dial our pressure back because we do not want to distort this 
uh, cover when we press it. But usually when you buffer in this way, you're protecting the cover pretty well anyway. So off screen, I have saturated a uh, sheet of copy paper with 3% H2O2, which you need to store in a brown bottle to protect it from sunlight, uh, degrading the H2O2, turning it into water. And um, that page is saturated, but not dripping wet. That's how we want it. I'm gonna set that on here. Then I'm gonna set the top of this same sandwich that's on the bottom, but in reverse, obviously. So this will go toward the book, copy paper, 100 pound cardstock, magazine backer board. So this will go on like this. And then lastly, I'll put my aluminum sheet on. So give me just a second to grab my sheet that is off camera. We're just going to make sure that we don't have any bubbles or wrinkles in between this overlay and the book. And we'll complete this buffer stack. Put the aluminum plate. And then this sandwich is going to go into my press. As I mentioned before, very detailed outlines here for these methods, the heat overlay methods. And um, I encourage you to get that book um, and practice. So next video, we'll check out the results of this heat overlay. And um, I hope you enjoyed the hunt. And as always, take care of one another.